Good morning, Year 7, and welcome to your first virtual assembly. In today's assembly, we are going to think about showing kindness in our community during a crisis. To start, I'd like you to have a look at this image, and I want you to see if you can spot Wally. For those of you who have not done this before, Wally wears a stripy red and white top and a matching hat. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to see if you can spot him. If you'd like longer, you can pause the video now and then restart in a minute. Did anyone manage to find him? He's here. It's difficult to spot Wally in such a crowded beach with so many people around him. And it made me think, is it possible to feel lonely in such a crowd? If Wally was a real person, could he experience loneliness here amongst all these people? It is possible to feel alone, as if we have not many friends to rely on, that we might be unsure of friendships or that no one understands us at a deep level, even when we're surrounded by others, or communicating with them regularly over Messenger and Snapchat and other social media. So it's entirely possible that Wally feels lonely in this crowd. Loneliness can still affect people who are surrounded by others and well-connected socially. This is because loneliness is about the quality rather than the quantity of relationships that we have. Someone might have a lot of friends, but still feel lonely, still feel that his or her need for a deep, trusting, caring and mutual con connection with others is not met. All people will experience loneliness in their lifetime, especially during this time of distance from our family and friends. Many of us may be experiencing this feeling of loneliness, even if it's only for a short amount of time or it comes and goes. It's really hard to recognise this feeling in ourselves. Maybe you're asking yourself questions like, can I possibly be feeling lonely when I'm surrounded by my brothers and sisters and my family? Maybe you're asking yourself, I speak regularly with friends on Snapchat or I game with them online. Can I be feeling lonely? It's also difficult to reach out to others who may be experiencing this too. So how can we show kindness as a community? How can we increase our sense of deep connection to avoid this feeling of loneliness? Reaching out to friends and family members, but also being courageous and expressing how we are feeling to friends and family is really important during this time. Perhaps one of the toughest things about lockdown for many of us is not being able to see our families and friends. This can take a real toll on our mental health. So it's important that we try to stay connected, even if we can't physically see people. And here are some ideas to do so. You can try reaching out to a friend or family member by sending a message. Sending a message like, how are you? Are you coping? You could share a book or a film, a TV show that you have watched that you think that they might like. These conversations don't need to be really long, but sending a small message to your friend, family member, neighbour, whoever you wish, a little message like just keep safe or hello, I hope you're well, really does go a long way. It emphasises that someone is thinking about you. And especially on a tough day, this can be really needed. It makes you feel loved valued and happy. You can try speaking to someone on the phone or video calling them, over messaging them. That way you can start to have a more face-to-face -face connection with people. Maybe you could try doing an online activity with friends, maybe a quiz where a group of friends get together and you take it in turns to ask questions and then reveal the answers. Maybe you could try spending time doing activities, finding a new hobby, participating in exercise and sport with family at home. It's really tempting at this time to stay in your room or be preoccupied with your phone, 
laptop or game that you might be playing. But spending quality time with the people around you when you are not distracted by other things is really important in establishing these connections with people. Finally, taking time for yourself to think about how am I feeling? How am I coping with this time is really important. And knowing that there are people around you, your friends, family and teachers that are there to help you. Above all, let's be there for each other. Year seven, we have already established strong foundations in our year seven community. We are often referred to and we often see people demonstrating acts of kindness and empathy and support. So we need to remember to keep looking out for our friends who might be finding this time difficult and to do our best to make sure that they are safe, to lift each other up at this moment and to, to ensure that we're all getting through this together, which we will do. The next part of my assembly, I'm going to read out some shout outs for pupils that have been nominated by their form tutor for exceptional acts of courage or kindness this week. And I'm going to start with Sana. Sana, Mr Hayes has nominated you because you are consistently showing courage by setting challenging but achievable targets for half term six. In Canada, Ms Page has nominated Ainsley. She says Ainsley always shows courage to ask questions when he is finding something difficult. This has allowed good communication with his teachers and ensures he's getting the most out of his work. He also shows constant kindness by always being so polite and empathetic during his tutor calls. Mr Wang's shout out is for Byram. Mr, uh, Mr Wang says Byram shows courage by challenging himself to complete work related to tasks that he has not learned before. He also challenges himself to learn new skills and sends his work completed through to his teachers. Miss Walsh in Poland's shout out is for Dylan. She said Dylan is always kind and empathetic on our tutor calls, asking how I am and telling me about the work he has done in such a kind manner. Mr Nazari's shout out is for Igli. Igli has shown courage by continuing to work through hard throughout lockdown. He shows great persistence and his work ethic in all of his subjects is commendable. Well done you. Miss McMahon's nomination is for Merrin. Miss McMahon says that Merrin sent an email on Wednesday thanking her and all of the teachers for our support in ensuring that pupils get the best education during lockdown. Not only did this email demonstrate extreme kindness, but your wording in the message was empathetic and very thoughtful. And finally for Ghana, Miss Knight has nominated Yusuf for the shout out this week. She says Yusuf shows courage by learning new skills. He perseveres even when this new challenge or new skill may seem daunting. Well done to all of our shout outs this week. The final part of the assembly that I would like to talk you through is really exciting. It's an act of kindness challenge. Mr Davis has challenged the year sevens and the year nines to an act of kindness competition. He wants to find out the best act of kindness that has been shown throughout our AJK community thus far. So you need to show kindness to the people around you at home. When you have been kind to someone, and that can be a family friend, uh, could be a family member, it can be calling a neighbour, whatever the act of kindness might be, when you have been kind to someone, they can nominate you to win the competition and win the prize. For example, if I had been really kind to my sister by making her bed and helping her tidy her room, she might nominate me to win the competition. Anyone that you show kindness to can nominate you, but you cannot nominate yourself. The best way to enter is for your parents to nominate you when your tutor calls them, or for your if it was to a friend or a family member, they can email your tutor or me with their nominations. You have two weeks from today to be nominated. And I'm going to remind you, this isn't just a, comp a competition within year seven to find the greatest act of kindness 
we are competing against year eight and year nine too. Good luck, and I look forward to receiving your nominations. Year seven, that's the end of the assembly today. I hope that you have a lovely week, and I look forward to continuing to hear the excellent work that you are doing at home.